What is going on guys? Retax message here. Hope you're a wonderful day. Got a brand new video for you guys. And today we have the abilities for Agent 1 explained. Now, I did post the preview gameplay on my channel here. And I also did post it on Reddit as well. And a whole bunch of people were speculating the abilities for Agent 1. So, we actually did get the abilities explained here from Marvel Super War themselves so let's get right into it so the first ability here is a natural passive which all heroes pretty much have called Sorcerer Supreme passive once ancient one uses both Tau Mandala and illusion shift a mandala takes form around her and explodes after 1.5 seconds dealing energy damage to nearby enemies if an enemy hero is hit, Ancient One gains a layer of energy. At three layers, Ancient One enters peak state. Peak state enhances Tau Mandala and Illusion Shift and 45%, 50%, 55%, of damage dealt converts to HP. Conversion ratio increases at levels 1, 6, 11, and 16. So I would definitely be uh, adding some HP... Uh, armor for uh, her build and whatnot i believe it's definitely her yeah i'm definitely gonna say it's a her a lot of people were speculating whether it was a him or her but like there's one line in the gameplay says something about like weak for a man whatever but i'm gonna say that each one is definitely a female ability number one tau mandala each one throws a Tau Mandala, I hope I'm saying that correctly, in the specified direction, dealing energy damage to enemies in the path of its arc. She also gains a shield that absorbs damage if the Mandala hits an enemy hero and returns to her. She gains another shield that absorbs damage. Peak state, Ancient One's Tau Mandala splits into two, each dealing energy damage if a Tau Mandala hits the same enemy multiple times. Subsequent damage will be reduced by 60%. That just seems like a, a lot of nonsense, in my opinion. I just think that's a lot of unnecessary stuff in this one. But anyways, Ancient One, Illusion Shift, blinks in the specified direction. Peak State reduces the cooldown for Illusion Shift. So the passive, after getting three layers, is Peak State. And all the abilities use Peak State from what I'm seeing so far in every opportunity they can. Number three, astral projection. Ancient one separates her astral form from her body and shifts control to her astral form. Her body remains in place with damage reduction if control immunity while her astral form receives a 75% speed boost. For three seconds, her astral form deals energy damage when passing through enemies and stuns them for 0.75 seconds. The ability lasts up to three seconds using the ability again while it's still active, returns her to astral form to her body early so that was kind of like the one where she kind of went invincible and she was able to walk around which i wasn't too sure how i felt about it considering the fact that like the enemy can just wait at your body and attack you when you come back but i don't know ultimate ability interdimensional travel ancient one immediately gains vision of all heroes who haven't been ko'd yet for five seconds when used a second time within five seconds, each one shoots a mandala in the specified direction until it reaches its max distance, where it opens a portal there and below each one. Each one then teleports to the other portal after two seconds. If the mandala hits enemy heroes, it will mark the enemy hero who was struck first and create a portal below each one and the target. Each one then switches locations with the target after two seconds. Kind of like what we saw with Doctor Strange with his. Uh, teleport ability but this one here if you looked at the gameplay uh, the enemy can actually move around a little bit and still be targeted by the dimensional portal whatever you want to call it the portal with Doctor Strange the person had to be standing still the enemy or uh, your teammate had to be standing still to actually go through it so this one here is a lot better of a portal than Doctor Strange's, in my opinion. 
Let me know what you guys think about these abilities in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. She might be pretty cool to use. I'm definitely going to give her a try. Uh, it's definitely a her. Because uh, they say her in this a couple times here. But there's a comment that she makes saying that I'm weak for a man or something like that. But yeah, it's definitely a her. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below. Also, follow all my social medias. They're popping up on the screen. But yeah, guys, I'm out. Have a wonderful day. Peace.